All right, I've set up a little experiment here. Let me describe it the best I can. I've got three coils. This is coil A. I've got an AC sine wave going into coil A. And I've got two coils inside of coil A, coil B and coil C. None of these coils are connected to each other except through magnetic inductance. Now I've got both the outputs of these coils hooked to my oscilloscope a dual trace oscilloscope that is. I'll let you see what I'm actually doing here. If you look down here I've got uh, the three coils. I've got power going in this one. I've got a coil here and one inside the coil. I'm going to try putting in an, a piece of metal inside just one of these coils to see how it changes the phase relationship on my oscilloscope here. Sorry about my unprofessional camera work, but it's the best I can do alone in my shop here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you see how we've got dual trace here. Everything's basically lined up. I've got one positioned a little higher so you can see that uh, it's a dual trace. Now watch, I put the two of these together and put this metal rod in my hand in just one of the coils. It not only changes the amplitude, which I can lower by this control here, but it changes the phase too. One is slightly out of phase with the other now. I hope hope the camera can pick up the difference between the two. There's definitely a difference. Let me zoom that in. Now I can also put a capacitor across one of the coils in parallel with it. And you you can see that really even when I adjust it so they're both the same amplitude, you can see that really changes the phase there. The reason I did this, I was a little bit confused about something. Often when I'd read about inductors and uh, capacitors and how they change the phase relationship when uh, voltage and current run through them, it always confused me because I always pictured it being something like this, as though you know they talk about the current lagging the voltage with inductors or vice versa. And I always pictured one particular, on a, on a single trace scope, I pictured the two somehow separating. At least that's the way they show it in all the uh, educational videos. You know, you picture uh, one, one trace turning, or one um, waveform turning into two, and it doesn't seem to work quite like that. Anyway, that's where I'm at with that.